<laughs> We've got bugs. <laughs> bugs in the test. Bugs in the test. This is why we do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Today, I am gonna go do some work in a coffee shop this morning. I've started to head to work with my partner because she works in the office, so it means I get out of the house nice and early for breakfast and go and do some a uh, couple hours of life admin and also just re responding to emails to clients and things. Um, so much better just getting it out and done in the morning for the day and then I can focus on work and everything else uh, after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back, got some other work to do for some clients and then I'm gonna work on spots. So that is out in test flight at the moment. However, uh, we went out last weekend, I've showed some of the footage. So we went out and wanted to test it out for the first time and actually works really well. The core functionality is great. I've made some errors in like the local state management. I've been using a lot of server calls and it's a bit clunky. It's not as immediate. So need to bring in some local state changes, which is a bit of an oversight for me. That's part of the process. So I'm glad I've learned it. I'm not a systems architect and it shows, <laughs> but this is a, a good way of learning for sure. So. I've got some work to do on that. And also in the, the sign up, there's some deep linking issues for the mobile app. Again, I'll go through that later. Yeah, also Solo Studio website is live. Had some errors with that as well as we do, but that is looking good. And I've made a lot of changes to the dashboard. So um, I'm gonna work on that as well. Uh, head to the gym later. So that's about it. So I'm gonna go do some work and I will check in in a bit. Yo, oh, lights for sure. Yo, okay, oh, hello. I've just got back. Well, I've been back for a while actually, I've been doing work. I've been busy today, which is good, super productive. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to go through spot stuff, so I may end up just cutting this and picking it back up tomorrow. Because uh, I'm going to the gym shortly, I'm trying to, get back and doing that we started back yesterday properly and it feels so much better because we were ill for like a week and then didn't get a chance to go and it was a bit ooh, feeling good now though feeling much much better i have now launched the put live the solo studio site this is a fun little thing um nothing crazy just a wait list at the moment um all of the features that we got. I'm gonna update this because as I'm building it, I'm obviously gonna be adding additional features and removing some as well. Uh, I think I went a bit too in on it initially to try and get as many 
try and get it to create as much value as possible but then that means that you end up making so many different features and it becomes a little bit unrealistic so what i'm gonna do is make sure the core features work create a roadmap for additional ones i mean before i even get to that i need to get people using it so i'm gonna try and get the base done um we've got some pricing here but this is just this is just kind of made up now i'm also going to do a lifetime membership what the cost of that will be i don't know but i also do want to make it so people can host it themselves but that would mean using a different database something like uh, SQLite or something along those lines I don't know yet so that is that um, I'm gonna make sure to use parity pricing as well because I think that's a fair thing to do um, I could do that with stripe but I don't know if I'm gonna use stripe uh, but I'm going to use Lemon Squeezy, I think. Not even got to that point yet, really. I want to make sure that the um, the actual dashboard's working. The time tracking thing is actually quite, it's proven quite difficult. Um, but the Kanban board's been pretty good. Uh, I'll go through that in depth in a minute. Um, I'll probably end up filming that tomorrow and then just adding it to this. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so I have just been working on trying to figure out this way that Spots is fetching locations and collections. So there's some more immediate feedback for users once they've added a location. So yeah, the main issue being that when, when a user adds a new location, it's not pushing that new location directly into the list, it's sending it to the server to save it in the database which is what we want so it can be recalled but it needs some uh, local state management to to handle that i think i'd set it up i think i set some of the dependencies up wrong for some of the hooks so it wasn't updating as it should be um but we're getting there um it's looking better already i'm just having some Simulator issues, which is a pain, but I'll try again. Um, yeah, essentially, I just need to be pushing the pushing the new spot or collection into the list, and then saving it rather than saving it directly to the database, and then bring and then fetching it back. That just doesn't make sense. It's kind of a really stupid design decision from my point but that is why we do this stuff to learn uh, and make mistakes uh, so this is going to take a little bit of time to do and then I've got to rebuild it to be able to go and test it on my phone so I'm gonna just test it with the simulator when that decides to work which is broken but that's basically where I'm at uh, and I'm also going through and deleting a lot of code there's a lot of stuff that isn't needed or was just written i must have been on an absolute coffee tear or something uh, because it was just, it just didn't make sense um, but that is the beauty of it it's why we do these things i like to kind of move quick and do a bit of pair program with claude when uh, yeah this is what i'm getting at the moment it's just decided to break now yeah you know get a bit of uh Claude help for um, tidying things up and testing things with uh, testing new ideas quickly essentially I'm using the uh, Superbase uh, real-time subscription to react to changes in the database um, I don't know. Use this essentially 
when something is updated, you can do things like uh, broadcast, create an event handler, the listens to changes, um, and then you do X, Y, and Z based off that. It's more for uh, like collaborative like documents and things, but I think it can be helpful, say, to listen to fit for an insert. So if I've inserted something into the database, it does something like brings up a new insert down or whatnot. So. And basically, yeah, having to go through and change a lot of the stuff that I've done, but it's not the slowest thing in the world the way it currently is, but it's not how I want it. Uh, and I want to get that core functionality sorted before I onboard new users. And that is the next thing I also need to do because there's no onboarding currently, and it is a very simple application in terms of the home screen is a plus button and a record button, which are pretty self-explanatory, but it doesn't really give any insight. There will be in the confirmation sign-up link, but yeah, so that's number one. No, no, that's number two. Number one is fixing this fetch. Um, and then number three is also the deep linking. I was having issues, so going from the confirmation email, it wasn't linking back to the app. Um, when you click on the confirmation link, which doesn't impact the sign up, it still works, the sign up still works, but it's obviously not ideal, so that's another thing. Uh, so I'm gonna get into that. I'm probably gonna leave this video here, and then the next video I'm gonna jump on how I've wrapped this stuff up, and also on uh, Solo Studio, the freelancing project, uh, making a new Kanban board. Um, which is thrilling, I'm sure. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this here. I'm not gonna overload things, but that's basically where I'm at. Thought I'd just, thought I'd just capture all of that and then uh, go from there, so. Cool, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy these, please drop it a like and a comment and uh, subscribe would be appreciated. I mean, like 850, which is pretty mental. So a thousand by the end of this year would be awesome. Catch you next time.